Today we're going to be making over this French Provencial children's dresser. I found this on the side of the road. It came as a set, so there is another piece. I'll be doing that piece next week. I'm not going to sell this as a set. Before bringing home any stray pieces of furniture, you want to make sure that you always thoroughly inspect them. I mean, take out the drawers, make sure that there's no bugs, give a good inspection. I'm starting with the prep work and I have to take out all of this hardware. I'm going to clean this hardware with some vinegar. I just leave it for a couple of hours and then I even add some dish Dawn soap and then I rinse it out. I mark all my drawers so I don't get them confused when I want to put them back and I'm sanding this edge here. I need to really sand it because there's some chipping finish on it and you don't want to put your paint over any chipping finish. Then I'm taking my white lightning cleaner and I'm thoroughly cleaning the inside of the piece. Now here I should have used my vacuum and vacuumed it out. It would have saved me on a lot of water and cleaner, but I didn't. I just used my water and cleaner and I scrubbed the entire thing down. The inside, the outside, everywhere. And now I have to go back again because I didn't sand that um, lip enough and there's still some crackling so now I'm taking a 120 grit and just giving it a really really good sanding you want everything to be smooth or else you won't get a smooth finish when you're done today I'm using mint by Michelle's mineral paint in my Frenchy blue you want to be sure to give all of your paints a good stir before you start painting with them because you want to mix all the properties together this is my first time using this paint. So I just wanted to get a good feel of it. I wanted to see what the consistency was gonna be like because that all matters on which brush you're gonna use and how you're gonna apply your paint. So I went with the Dixie Belle mini brush for this because it's pretty flat and one of my favorite brushes. I'm immediately liking the way that this paint goes on. It's pretty thin, it's not like chalk paint. So it's going on really nice and smooth. As you know, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I always like to prime my pieces, but there was really no reason to prime this piece. It doesn't have any odors. It's not real wood, so I'm not gonna have a lot of, you know, there's not gonna be tannins. It's not a shiny surface. So this was the perfect piece to use this paint on. And you don't even need a primer when you're using this paint. It's not required, so that's good. And another thing about this paint that I wanna make sure I say is it has a built-in sealer, but it does dry chalky. So it's up to you if you want, you know, if you want a satin finish, you would just add your satin coat. If you want it, if you're fine with the chalky, you can just leave it. I was really impressed by the adhesive properties of this paint. <laughs> there were a few times, um, and I will show you in a, in a few minutes, there's a few times where I was scratching on accident and the paint stayed on. So I was really, really thrilled. When you're using a mineral paint, you wanna kinda of go in the same direction. You don't wanna go all over. And this is self-leveling, so you want to give it enough time to dry so that it does self-level for you. If you add your second coat, you know, right away, it, you're not going to have self-leveling and you're going to see your brush strokes. So give it an hour or two, let it dry, and then come back and add your second coat. Now the funniest thing happened while I was painting with the Mint by Michelle paint. I got a package in the mail from Janelle Goody over at the Goody Girl shop on behalf of Mint by Michelle and there were Mint by Michelle brushes inside. Janelle Goody is the US distributor for Mint by Michelle and she's also a retailer so she has a shop online called the Goody Girl shop so if you're in the US you can buy your products from her or if you're in Australia you can buy them directly from Mint by Michelle's website. I believe that there are retailers in other countries too so you can check out the websites down below in my description box and I'll leave some links. So this is my first time today using these Mint by Michelle products and I'm really enjoying them. I like the brush a lot. It's really soft so I can see even blending with it and using this paint for blending is a huge possibility. I'm not gonna do it today because it's my first time using the paint and I really wanna get the feel for it. 
I want to share what I like about this brush. When I'm blending, my go-to brushes are usually the Dixie Belle Mini, and that's because it has the right amount of bristles and it's not super firm. So it's a thick brush without being firm. This brush is kind of the same way. It's oval shaped. The bristles are really soft. So that makes a difference on how my paint is going to look when I'm done painting. A lot of the cheap brushes, they just don't have enough bristles in them. So when you're laying down your paint, you're not getting that smooth finish. This is the Remarkable Garden Transfer by Mint by Michelle. There's this one whole centerpiece, and then there's all these little pieces. I already have planned what I wanted to do with the whole centerpiece, but the, and I wasn't gonna use these transfers on this piece, but it's just calling me. It's calling me and I have to use them. So I'm gonna use the little pieces that were on the top that you see here. And then I will save these for my other project. As you can see, this transfer is so detailed and beautiful. I love the colors. So I'm thinking about putting the transfers in two of the corners and I have to cut the transfer out first. After figuring out where I want to place the transfer, I take it off the backing paper and I stick it to the dresser like a sticker. I decided I wanted it to overlap a little bit over to the side because I'm not going to put anything on the sides of the dresser, so a little bit of the transfer will give it some color. Mint by Michelle papers come in a bag, so there is a stick that they provide inside the bag, so I'm using that to rub the transfer on. And this is actually where I started to scratch the paint. It is the next day after I had painted the dresser. I let the dresser um, sit overnight before applying the transfer. And I scratched where the paint is and it did not come off. So I was really impressed by the adhesive properties of the Mint by Michelle Mineral Paint. And right where the drawer and the frame meet, I just take my razor blade and I cut the paper there. Then I slowly take the front paper and I start peeling it off and that transfer is just sticking to my piece. When I'm done applying the little bit of transfer, I take a sanding sponge and I just kind of go over it and I make sure that I'm sanding off the halo and that there's no bubbles you know I'm popping any bubbles and I go over it really gently because you don't want to you don't want to like sand the transfer off so you just use a nice gentle hand and now I'm gonna build out because I don't want to just leave this little tiny piece of flower in the corner I want to build out on it and make it look a little bit thicker and more balanced so I just cut up some of the other pieces and I start applying them to the dresser and I'll show you I'm gonna show you the whole process of this corner I found it really easy to get in any of the curves. Sometimes I have a really hard time getting the transfers in the curves without you know, breaking it apart, but this went on really smooth for me. And when I finished applying this transfer design, I applied one to the opposite corner at the bottom on the other side. Now to seal the transfer and to seal my piece, because I do like the satin finish, I'm using Country Chic's top coat. 
like to pour my top coat out and then put the cap right on it really quick because if I don't, I'll get little um, flecks of lint and hair and dust in my top coat and then it'll go on my pieces of furniture. And if there's any dust on your brush, it'll also get mixed on your top coat. So you have to be really careful that you're you know, I like to pour it on a plate or uh, something else just so that I make sure that my top coat is staying clean. When I'm applying the top coat, I'm just trying to get a nice smooth finish and I'm trying to cover everything. I don't want to get streaks, so make sure that you really mix your sealer up before you use it and that'll help with less streaking. I like to take my time when I'm applying the top coat. I apply it in rows and I try to not overwork it. So I move quickly. And now for the hardware. I let my hardware soak for about six hours in some vinegar and some Dawn dish soap. And, and then I just wiped it with a rag. Most of the tarnish came off. It looks pretty clean, but I want it to be a solid, color I want it to be a little bit more uniform so I'm gonna apply Dixie Belle's gilding wax in bronze on all of the hardware and that's just to kind of shine it up and make it a little bright the color of the dresser and the color of the transfer those are complementary colors you know orange is complementary to blue and the orange is not like a super orange there's some pinks in it and the dresser isn't super blue it's got some greens in it so they complement each other very well and I thought that the bronze would give it um, just a unique look instead of using gold or silver now I am taking a teeny tiny bit of gold gilding wax. I even dab it off my finger before applying it because I just want it to have sort of an antique bronze look to it. My original plan for this dresser was to have it like a princess in a castle piece and it was gonna be a lot of silver and then the My Frenchie Blue. But as I went along with this piece and I kept looking at that transfer I knew that it was going to be more of like maybe like a woodland princess piece <laughs> I think it'll still look really good in a child's room and it'll be something really special but it's just a different kind of princess I think for the top, I decided to seal it with Varathane's water-based polyurethane in satin. And that's because I just find it super easy to use. I do apply about five coats to make sure that it's nice and even, and it dries within about 20 seconds. So it's just fast and I don't have to worry about streaking. That's why I did it. When I finished and I had it all together, I knew that it needed a little bit something more. So I'm using that same bronze gilding wax and I'm just gonna outline the top here. I know a lot of furniture painters remove the piece here that I'm painting, but I didn't. I decided not to do it because it is a child's piece and it's just a little cute add-on. So I didn't really find it necessary to remove it, but I do think that's brilliant when you're working on um, a piece maybe for an adult to update it. I just, I didn't find it necessary for this one. Gilding wax is oil-based, so it's pretty tricky to work with. I have a little baby wipe here and anything that goes out of place, I need to wipe it immediately. It comes off super easy if you wipe it immediately. I go down to the legs and I just add a little bit of that gilding wax to the little design on the legs just to give it some more balance. Now remember what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like today. I just love this color combo. I love the bronze with the transfer and the, it's almost like a duck egg kind of color, the My Frenchie Blue. It's just a really beautiful combo. I really enjoyed these Mint by Michelle products. It was my first time using them and I can't wait to use them again and kind of experiment, maybe do some blending. This transfer is so beautiful to me. <laughs> I can't wait to use the big centerpiece. I have it all planned out, so um, that's gonna be coming pretty soon. 
If you want to check out another video I did, I'm going to leave it right here. This is the mystery box challenge where I totally stepped out of my comfort zone and did something really fun. And if you would like, you could hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next week with a fresh video.